I felt good about starting behind the car like that. I want to dive on in. The Section 8 tenants are actually going to represent a lower amount of risk for you because the biggest risk in these tougher neighborhoods, these low-income neighborhoods, guys, is not being able to collect that rent consistently. You can, like, caught on some spider webs, dude? Maybe. It's just like... Dirty. Ghost is holding it. Yeah, dude. That's... Imagine if it just started, like, swimming in. I'd myself. I would literally dude. myself. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. What's up, out of stateies? We got a lot of out of state investors that like to watch this show, y'all, because we bring y'all the cash flow, right? We bring y'all the cash flow, and a lot of out of state investors love these cash flow markets like the one we're talking about today, Akron, Ohio, and this deal, 675 Hazel Street, right? This is why the out of state folks come here, y'all. $54,900, that is the price, and you get not one, not two. But three units, y'all. We got ourselves a triplex here. All right. You see that big old staircase that they got in here just for that third unit, right? So I think we're all squared away uh, with the needed egress, right, to make it legit, right? Out here in Akron, uh, we get a lot of duplexes that, like, randomly get converted to triplexes, and then they don't actually have the necessary egress, and it can sometimes cause issues for people down the road. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It's pretty wacky out here, right? Sometimes, uh, you know, something's operated as, like, a triplex for, like, 40 years, city never says anything, and then one time uh, it does become an issue, right? I guess nothing's an issue until it's an issue, right? But this one shouldn't be an issue until it's an issue, but hopefully it won't ever be an issue because, as you see there, we got the extra stairs here, right? Uh, we have one of the units, which is totally vacant, right? Uh, nothing super sexy about this one, uh, but, of course, nothing super classy either, okay? It's just like an old, outdated unit, right? And the other two units, uh, they're, they're older and outdated, too, and that's why you have two tenants in there, two legacy tenants, uh, not paying as much rent as they should be, right? One's paying five oh five, dollars the other paying four fifteen, right? But those uh, one-bedroom units that you see, uh, the vacant one and the other one that's being rented at five oh five, those are $750 units y'all and then that small third unit right that's a $650 unit right so what you want to do the first step right to making money off of this bad boy would be to go in spend like 10 15 maybe $20,000 uh in, in fix this unit right make this unit look badass right walls floors carpet update the kitchen in the bath right you got some missing drawers or this or that get it looking good get it looking fresh and in my opinion your best bet is to take that section 8 money right get that section 8 money i know a lot of investors out there get scared of section 8 they hear that section 8's dangerous they hear section 8's rough they hear section 8 tenants will mess up your house now it's true that uh some of that does happen okay but what you have to understand is when you're investing in these neighborhoods neighborhoods where you can buy a three unit apartment building for only $54,900, you're going to be dealing with a high level of risk tenant base, okay? And when the tenant base is already going to be at a high level of risk because of the neighborhood you're in and the housing stock that's out there, folks, the Section 8 tenants are actually going to represent a lower amount of risk for you because the biggest risk in these tougher neighborhoods, these low-income neighborhoods, guys, is not being able to collect that rent consistently. Well, guess what? The government, for all the horrible shit that they do, they do do one thing good. They do do one thing correctly, and that is pay their rent on time, right? Never have an issue collecting the government guaranteed rent y'all so i suggest you guys go section eight on this one all told by the time you get this thing fully operational ready to rock and roll all tenants pay in market y'all could be bringing in two thousand one hundred fifty dollars a month right acquisition price 54.9 Market rent over $2,100 a month. That is why so many out of stateies are coming here. We get people from all over. We get people from New York, New Jersey, Texas, that dirty shithole Portland. And we get a ton of folks from California, right? The communist nation of California. By the way, if you're a Californian who's watching my show right now because you're like, man, I really hate California. It's horrible. I hate communism. 
Also, that shirt is mad dope, y'all. I want to buy it. Hey, don't you worry, Mr. Californian. You can buy this shirt. I got you hooked up, man. Just click the link below. Use promo code HWTV10. But while you're down there and you're browsing our other shirts, you could check out this new shirt we got. But I don't want you to buy it, man, because I'm pissed. Look at this. Look at this. I just got the samples in uh, from the manufacturer, and this one's screwed up, right? Supposed to say rents due, R-E-N-T apostrophe S due. And look at that. They screwed up all my samples. Had them send in my samples, and we're missing the apostrophe. And then they threw like a friggin', I don't know, what is that? It's like a car size, apartment size space between the T and the S. Dude, This the space between this T and this S is probably bigger than that third apartment that we're going to be getting 650 out of, y'all. So I do want you to buy this shirt, but I don't want you guys buying any of these right now. I got to discuss it with the manufacturer. So don't click on this one and buy it. And if you guys are out there and you've already bought them uh, and the shipment came in and you're like, what in the name of holy hell is this? They spelled my shirt wrong. They screwed my shirt up. Holton Wise TV sucks the big one. Please, do not get upset. I am here for you guys. Just shoot my team an email, sales at holdenweiss.com. Uh, we will get your shirt order squared away. We're uh, in heated discussions with the manufacturer, which kind of sounds like, hey, are you guys fucking idiots? How'd you fuck up my shirt? Uh, make my shirt unfucked, right? Those kind of discussions are happening behind the scenes right now. So we will get all of your orders fixed. And then while you're in there uh, discussing the, you know, $25, $30 shirt, whatever the hell it is, uh, with us, why don't you just drop $55,000 and buy this property as well? That'd be mad dope too, right? Uh, every T-shirt... Uh, that you buy comes with a free house. I'm just kidding. It fucking doesn't. As a matter of fact, you can't even buy a house and get a free t-shirt. Like, if you buy this house for 55000 you still got to pay the 25 30 bucks for the shirt. But I assure you, the next shirt will be spelled correctly, right? So... If you guys are interested in buying this particular property, even though you ain't getting a free shirt, but you do get that sweet promo code, man. That's 10% off, dude. If the, shirt is, if the shirt's 30 bucks, that's $3, y'all. You can take that $3, okay? Save that for your renovation budget so you can get that Section H header at that vacant unit, man. I'm here to give, okay? Uh, but if you do want to buy the house, right, uh, sales at holdenweiss.com. That's where you're going to want to send your offers. Could be cash. Could be financed. If it's cash, send me your proof of funds. If it's financed, send me your pre-approval letter. If you send me an offer and you're like, yo, I want to buy this, 55 k cash, and then you send me a pre-approval letter for a hard money lender, we're probably not going to reply to you because we know you're an idiot. Because we get that a lot. People will be sending it in. And be like, yeah, I want to pay 55 k cash. I'm like, sweet, let me get that proof of funds, bro. They're like, here you go, and it's a hard money loan. And I'm like, hey, bro, this is a hard money loan. And then they're like, yeah, I know. It's cash. I'm like, but it's not cash. They're like, yes, it is. I gave you the proof of funds. I'm like, this is a pre-approval letter for a hard money loan. So, yeah, I know, hard money loan. It's cash. I'm like, it's not. It's not cash, bro. It's a hard money loan. 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 It's a loan, you fucking asshole. Right? And I I'm tired. I'm tired of having those conversations, guys. I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff out here. And I've had that conversation like with like hundreds of people. So at this point, uh, you know, Holton Wise, just so you guys know, if you if you send in a cash offer, if you're like, yeah, I want to pay cash, but you send in that hard money loan pre-approval, like I, we can't even reply to you anymore, bro. Like honestly, like I feel like if you do that, you're probably the guy who's, who's working the print station and, and you're printing out this shirt. Right, like at this point, I just feel like if you think hard money loans and cash are the same thing, you feel like this shirt looks good, okay? And I just can't, I can't deal with that at this 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 stage of the game, y'all. Right? So for everybody out there who knows that hard money loans are loans, that's great. We could work with you. Sales at holdenwise.com. Conventional uh, buyers, buyers getting a conventional loan. We want to work with you too. Sales at holdenwise.com. And anybody else out there who wants to physically tour that vacant unit before they put in that offer, that's totally fine too. We can't have you bothering the tenants. We can't have just random assholes walking the property, bugging the tenants, trying to look into their bedrooms and whatnot. Don't worry. We'll let you do your due diligence. You can make your offers contingent on inspection. And at the inspection or the appraisal 
if you're doing a conventional loan or a hard money loan, because hard money loans, you know, those lenders typically require an appraisal. Why? Because they're fucking lenders, and that's what lenders do, guys. Uh, you could tour the property with the appraiser or the inspector. That's totally fine, but we can't just have you randomly doing walkthroughs, bugging the tenants uh, outside of those two times. But... That vacant unit, I want you guys to be able to get uh, all the information you possibly can. So you, we will get you guys into that vacant unit anytime you need. Uh, typically, if you reach out to our company and it's like before, you know, before 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we could usually get you in the vacant unit the same day. Uh, if not, typically the next day we'll get you in there, right? Sales at HoldenWise.com, cash flow. Don't buy my misspelled T-shirts. I'm going to get a fix for y'all. Let's go. Let me go right in. I'll do the outside footage after. Really? Yeah, why not? I felt good about starting behind this car like that. I wanna dive on in. Way. Got a broken winder. It's always fun. <laughs> Yo! There's a staircase that goes nowhere. You should almost go up to the top of the stairs and do like a view from up there. <laughs> I could. I'll do it at the end. Yeah, so the way out, be some like pointless movement. Oh baby. Look at this. Mm mm mm. It'd be sweet if that was bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Like caught on some spider webs, dude. Maybe it's just like Dirty. fucking ghost is holding it. Yeah, dude. That's... Imagine if it just started like swimming. I'd shit myself. I would literally shit bullet, myself. <laughs> My hands are covered in cobwebs. I know. I'm walking through fucking tons of them. Let me get this side to the important side. Let's see the gas valve and stuff. Removed access to the up here. So you can just come hang out at the top of the stairs as people like to do for, you know, no reason at all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.